So this is what we are querying today. As you can see, I'm running my project and the robo is asking a question. My name is Robo. I will answer your queries about chatbots. If you want to exit, type by. So let's say hi and let's see what it responds. So it is saying hello. So as it is saying, I will answer your queries about chatbots. Let's ask it about chatbots. So let's say, where are chatbots used? So it is responding with chatbots are typically used in dialogue systems and let's try to ask something else. Okay, what was the first chatbot? Okay, so it is responding a book called policeman and uh, all this stuff. So basically uh, it is answering everything about chatbots. So let's see how I created that and how you can add more features to it and how you can replace anything about chatbots to anything about anything else from Wikipedia. So everything that Wikipedia knows, you can make your chatbot know everything about those stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so let's just jump into the project and this is my project and as you can see, it's very simple. You can just do it in probably five minutes and I just have two things here. One is chatbot.txt, this is the data here and another one is main.py, this is the code. So what is chatbot.txt? So whatever knowledge that our chatbot has is gathered from this document. So I only have 76 lines of information here and if you ask anything about uh, the chatbots, it will get those data or it will get the responses from this thing. So what the chat chatbot does is it will read this data, it will analyze the importance of everything and then whatever you ask to the chatbot, it will search for the response from this document or the knowledge that it has gathered from this document. So right now. Uh, I've just copied and pasted some of the information about chatbot from a Wikipedia page. So it's only 76 lines. In real production environments, you have a lot of changes. And one is the data set is, or the knowledge base is a lot, a lot, lot bigger than this. It's probably millions of lines. So if you want to improve this, you can start with uh, making its knowledge base at least a thousands of lines so that you know it has a wide variety of information. So once you have your chatbot.txt ready or any information in chatbot.txt ready, just the name is chatbox, you can add any information about anything here. And then let's go back to our main.py. Now this is a small chatbot, so it is just 86 lines of code and it does the basic things as I've shown you already in the demo. So let's see what we are doing here so that you can also quickly do this. All this code is available in GitHub, so you can download the source code from GitHub. I'll have the link in the description. Okay, so basically, we are just importing a bunch of stuff here. So the main thing of focus for us is sklearn here and NLTK. So what we do is NLTK and sklearn is used for text processing and it is used for tokenization, lemmatization, and all that stuff. So uh, let me explain to you a bit more about how this works when we jump into the code. So first, we are reading our chatbot.txt. So uh, we are just reading whatever information we have in chatbot.txt and we are saving this information in this raw variable. And now this is where NLTK comes to use. So we have raw data in our raw variable, but what we need to do is we need to tokenize it and we need to convert it into a list of sentences <laughs> sentences converted to the list of words so that is what we are doing here from nltk so we are converting to a list of sentences and that is in sent tokens and then we are converting this raw document to a list of words that is in word tokens okay and then we are pre-processing it and we are lemmatizing it and we are normalizing at using this code here and finally we are about to reach the good stuff that is the actual chatbot part not just the pre-processing so Basically, we first initially check what the user has said and if any of uh, the words that user have said are similar to this thing, that is greeting inputs, we will respond with greeting responses. So this is basically hard coding. It's uh, not a very good or not AI chatbot. We are just hard coding information here and this is the function that uses that. So basically, uh, we just convert whatever the user has said to words and then we lower it and if we check if what the user has said is in this and if it is in that list we just respond with our own greeting response and we are randomizing uh, words from this so sometimes our chatbot might respond with hi sometimes with this sometimes with this it will be random okay finally we are here to the meat of our chatbot so what is this doing so first uh, 
our user has set to our sentence token so we have all this as sentences in this sent tokens right and whatever the user has said we are also adding that to our sentence tokens and then we are using this tfidf vec so what is this now this is a vector class from our sklearn library that we have imported here so this is why we imported this all right so that we can make this vector vector so what is the importance of this this vector is used for test processing and vectorization what this does is it is converting it is used to convert our sentence tokens to vector okay and then once that is already done okay let me tell you what this tfid does uh, or what the tfidf stands for so this stands for what was it yeah term frequency inverse document frequency so tfidf is term frequency inverse document frequency and we are converting our send tokens to this vector and we are using this vector to do what to find out similarity so what we are doing here is we are representing our data as vector and then we are making numerical statistics that reflects the importance of words in our text data so whatever we have here this will figure out the importance of the data that we have and it converts that importance into numerical format so that we will use it later on all right so it is let's say vectorizing our data and it, and then it is converting that vector into numerical format that shows how important a text is okay so now what we are doing here is we are just finding out cosine similarity between the vector of user response and the vectors of all sentences and sent tokens so as you can see here we just add what user had said and then we are calculating this thing now here what we are doing is we are taking the last thing here last thing in this vector that is the user response and then we are finding similarity between user response and whatever we have here so if there is a proper match found we will respond with that and finally we are getting the id of the best response that is first we are sorting it and the minus one that is the latest one is the user response of course and after that the second one will be what is the most relevant sentence to respond to that query okay and then this is just we are uh, flattening the array and then we are just calculating the second most similar sentence of users input so what we are doing is we are calculating the TDA, tf idf score of second most similar sentence the first most similar is of course the user's own response because that is what we have appended and then we are calculating the response of second most similar response if that is equals to zero that means that no match is found and we will respond with i'm sorry and if it is greater than zero what we'll do is we'll respond with a token and we found out which token to say using this index from here and we are just returning that response so this is the meat of the program and finally we are just uh, setting this factor to that means we'll continuously ask for user's response until the uh, until the user responds with by okay so we are just asking for user's response sorry first we are printing uh, this thing and then we are asking for user's response and we are converting it to lowercase if the user's response is by what we are doing is we are saying thanks or thank you and then we are uh, closing out of the loop else we just Say a greeting if it is a greeting else we are using our response function and then we are generating response from that all right so this is the meat of the code i hope you understood it and you can just clone it and run it if you have any questions about how to make this better or how to uh, you know uh, any of this is working you can just let me know in the comments below